Hi friends, welcome to the part 21 of this playlist. Please hit the join button to become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja. This will give you unlimited access to a good amount of cloud certification content. By the way, if you have not clicked the subscribe button, please hit it. It will help you stay tuned to the latest content around AWS, GCP and Azure cloud certifications. Enough of talks, let's jump into the questions. See, nowadays, what is the trend? The trend is you move from on-premises to cloud. Question is also telling you to do the same. Move, move from on-premises to AWS. Okay, what the hell I need to move, man? I need to move application which is written using Java and PHP. Now, once you go to cloud, why do you go to cloud? Because you want things to be highly available. So the client is also greedy. The client is saying, hey, I am going to cloud. Now give me my application which is highly available. And I want to do it with minimum operational overhead. Why do they say so? Are they greedy? No boss, AWS promised, come to me. I will give you these things. So the client is saying, okay, I'll give my application on your platform. Let's see whether you can give me these things or not. So now what are the options saying? The first one is saying, so first one is dividing it into two parts. Okay, part one, part two. Part one is saying static and part two is saying dynamic. Static content, dynamic content. Website has both, right? So website, static content, they will put on S3. Dynamic content, they will use Lambda. Who the hell does that? Lambda has a timeout of 15 minutes. What if such processes take more time? Second thing is Lambda is just used for some light massaging of the data and etc. In the back end, it is not used in the front end applications like this. It is used for serverless compute. Not fit for this question. Now B is telling you use Elastic Beanstalk. Ayo, appa, what is Beanstalk man? It is used to deploy and scale web applications. Oh, that is what we want. Perfect man, perfect. So that means it is scalable. Okay. And see, this is a diagram. Beanstalk is here. Okay, Beanstalk platforms. So this can, this entire stuff, this can work. Okay. Web applications are hosted this way only. Now the question is, is it highly available? Yes, this documentation here says so. I am not saying so. Do not trust me. Trust the documentation. From whom? from directly the horse's mouth that is AWS itself. Do not trust Udemy. Do not trust anything. Trust AWS documentation. So we now know this guy Beanstalk is highly available. We now know that, right? So this requirement highly available is met. And this is minimum operational overhead also because this is a managed service from AWS. Now the next part says I will switch, I, I will swap the URL between multiple Beanstalk environments for feature testing. What is feature testing? Did the question tell this? Yes. You see this? Test new feature frequently. So this is addressing that piece of the requirement also. Fantastic man. So everything is matching now. Let the girl marry the boy now. This is my answer. Now option c and d like the other guys are asking what about me what about me hey, this guy c is saying that deploy web application on ec2 so if you are doing it on ec2 ec2 is a instance that you will have to manage it yourself that means beanstalk was managed service that means aws manages that ec2 you have to configure you have to deploy you have to manage you have to set the auto-scalation groups and etc. That means this requirement, minimum operational overhead, this is less compared to option B. So option B, the girl chose the boy because the girl will not have to do the household course. They have the staff. Option C, no staff man. She will have to do everything. So the girl will not choose this guy. Same problem with option D. Option D is saying, I will containerize the web application that is fine you are containerizing it you are promising i will buy you mercedes benz but then you take her and uh, you are saying that you just have uh, ambassador this is ambassador ec2 instance that means 
there is no staff nothing to help her out she is left on her own this is something which a client will have to manage and it will increase your operational overhead it will not decrease so this will not work this is my final answer so this is a very important requirement okay you have contract documents now contract documents what do you want contract document should be kept safe right it is that's why your home rental agreement or whatever house you have purchased those documents you keep it in your bank locker safely okay and what if anybody can overwrite it so that is also not required right that is not desired because the contract has to stay as it is so you should avoid overwriting or deleting the contract you should not get lost so that same thing they want in the digital world you have pdf copies you have to encrypt the document at rest and you have to rotate the encryption keys this is a requirement you have to do this with least operational overhead the entire cloud certification is all about least operational overhead low cost low cost least operational overhead same like how the indian government works and if you are working in companies like tcs infosys mindtree so you must be seeing this on a daily basis your manager does not approve budgets always there is cost pressure etc same here now let us scan options a is saying you will store the document in s3 and you will use object lock in governance mode see object lock you you write once and you read many times it will not allow multiple writes that is a purpose of object lock and there are two modes governance and compliance see the problem with governance mode is you see this will help you protect objects but the problem is you can grant some users permission to alter retention settings or delete the object so that means some user will still have option to delete the object but in compliance mode you see it is locked in compliance mode it that means retention mode can't be changed and retention period can't be shortened so a is wrong because governance mode you can still allow some people to delete the object oh my god that is so scary right if somebody can still go and delete your contract papers contract documents so we will choose compliance mode because nobody nobody in the world nobody even your super powerful countries president prime ministers they they can also not do it except rajnikanth rajnikanth can uh, do that so here now you have see you have addressed the problem now there are two problems so you have you have addressed the problem that uh, nobody can overwrite or delete it. now you have to address the problem of this rotating the encryption keys so c d and e is trying to address this problem we have to choose which one is correct see key rotation does not come with this s3 managed encryption key this is wrong it comes with kms only what is kms see you want to uh, control encryption keys or your digital signatures sign out data this is kms centralized service provided by aws so do not create a custom solution now my problem now is both d and e are using kms this guy and this guy both use kms but what is the difference the e is saying i will import the keys from somewhere else and here d is saying i will use customer managed keys so see if you are using kms okay then why will you import the keys from somewhere else why will you do two things if you import the keys from somewhere else that means this requirement you are not meeting because it will increase your operational overhead so e is wrong so we got this answer these are my final answers see here you need sftp solution simple whatever is the case do, do we have sftp options here so if you see c and d this one these two 
they are trying to create custom solution for this purpose but aws already has a ready made solution in the form of transfer family so this is a sftp that means file transfer solution okay and it is easily manageable and you can share the data in a simple secure manner and it is scalable today you want to move 10 files tomorrow 100 after that 1000 after that 10000 after that 1 million it will work every time man it will work every time and that too with high performance so i got my answer this is my answer so that means other three are wrong so we will lock this answer so boss please hit the subscribe button it will help you stay tuned to to aws google cloud and azure certification there will be many more parts some will be posted only for cloud members cloud kernel and cloud ninja stay tuned we will meet again in the next part